Дамы и господа, мы продолжаем. Серия Гран-при Roll to NFG2. Второй бой в красном углу ринга. В категории до 66 килограмм. Боец Валерий Емельяненко. 18 лет. Четыре боя, две победы, два поражения. Спортивный клуб Паутина Полоцк. And the second fight, Valery Emelianenko, who is 18 years old, two wins and two losses, his professional record from Belarus, has famous surname as uh, Fedor and Alexander Emelianenko, two brothers, famous brothers from Russia, but He's not his uh, their relative. He just has the same surname. В синем углу ринга Николай Пирожник, бойцу 21 год, один бой, одна победа. Арашон ММА Могилев. And the opponent of Valery Emelianenko is Nikolai Pirozhnik. 21 years old with the record of one win and no losses. Actually, Nikolai has fought as an amateur. Дамы и господа, в красном углу ринга боец спортивного клуба Паутина Болоцк, кандидат мастера спорта по тайскому боксу, Победитель и неоднократный призер республиканских турниров по тайскому боксу. К1 Ушу Саньда. Двухкратный победитель профессионального турнира по ММА «Славянский кубок». Валерий Емельяненко! В синем углу ринга. Боец Арашон ММА Могилев, серебряный и бронзовый призер чемпионата РБ по боевому самбо. Победитель Могилевской области по ММА и боевому самбо. Двухкратный победитель турнира «Стрелка» Николай Пирожник! Николай Пирожник represents combat samba Fight. And uh, Valery Emelianenko is a Muay Thai specialist, a winner of uh, Slavyansky Cup. And Nikolai Pirozhnik is a winner of uh, Strelka, famous tournament in Russia, which holds in uh, the sand where uh, the fighters fight in MMA rules. Okay, the first round begins. Valery Emelianenko and Nikolai Pirozhnik. Valery Emelianenko is a little bit taller, but he is already on the ground. Nikolai Pirozhnik takes side control, tries to use his uh, grappling techniques. If it's possible, we'll see. From this position, he can get to the mount now he chooses to stand up but right after that he is already on the ground in the side control very nice control from the nikolai pirozhnik he is already in the mount and tries to finish the fight if it is possible in this position not bad escape from valery milianenko as you can see, wow, what a nice slam by Nikolai Pirozhnik. He is stand up. He is on top, on the ground, in the guard position, tried to transfer to the mount. Successfully done it. And another escape from uh, Valeria Milianenko. What a nice specialist. The fight continues on the ground. Nikolai Pirozhnik still on top, uses his ground skills to try to finish the fight. As you can see, he is also on the top 
on the mount position again. And nicely done to hooks by right hand. Tries to continue his domination on the ground. But Valery Emelianenko uses the same way as he has done twice today. Nicely done and the choke is here already. Triangle choke, I mean, from Nikolai Pirozhnik. He tries to he tries to take the la the hand and I thought he has done it, but not. He is still on the top of the position of the mount position, of course. Tries to continue his domination. Nothing can do right here, Nikolai Pirozhnik. I'm sorry, Valery Emelianenko. He has done nothing today, right now, as for right now, but not bad, not badly defends himself. Still on the ground, Valery Emelianenko tries to defend himself as possible, but misses. And right now we see the stand-up. They stood up again, but Nikolai Pirozhnik wants to continue the fight on the ground. He takes the one leg, single leg takedown, successfully done it, did it. And as you can see right now, there are no way he can get out. I mean, his opponent, Valery Emelianenko, but he holds the opponent tightly. And referee says that have, they have to continue in a stand-up. The fight continues in the center of the octagon, of the cage, still on the ground. Again on the ground, I'm sorry, the guys, uh, the guy Nikolai Pirozhnik wants to fight on the ground and his way he is doing it is amazing because he is doing it very successfully. I think he has done it already three times and all of them were very successfully. Successful. Still fight continues on the ground. Valery Nikolai Pirozhnik tries to Pass the guard and he has done it. Side control. From this position he could he could use the elbows, but it's forbidden. According to M1 rules, fighters still on the ground. Nicely done the choke by Valery Emelianenko, but. The round is over. The round is over and first time in this event we will see the second round. I think the first round won Nikolai Pirozhnik because he was better on the ground. He took his opponent several times and used control position. Tried to fight as hard as he could and this fight goes to him. And we are ready to the second round, to see the second round, of course, from possible three. Valery Emelianenko understands that he has to be in a stand-up position to win the fight if he wants to. But still on the ground goes Nikolai Pirozhnik. One single leg, one leg uh, takedown successfully did it Nikolai Pirozhnik and side control the same situation we have seen in the first round I don't know whether 
Валерий Емельяненко is capable of escaping it, but right now it all goes to the opponent. The opponent tries to submit his leg. Nikolai Pirozhnik is a well-rounded fighter, and I think he is a little bit bigger and has weight advantage. Double leg takedown, successfully done by Nikolai Pirozhnik, and he is still on the ground on top, he uses his skills to control the fight the way the way he wants to and everything happens how Nikolai wants. The position of north-south is a very dangerous position from this position Jeff Monson, a famous grappler and MMA specialist has done has won a lot of uh, fights, as you remember. And right now, referee stops the fight in order to continue as a stand-up. In a stand-up position, the fight continues. I think Valery Emelianenko is already tired a little bit. Because defending himself is very tired, tiring work. Right now, as you can see, Nikolai Pirozhnik tries to control him on the ground again. Seems to me that Valery Emelianenko wasn't ready to fight uh, in a stand-up, in a ground, I'm sorry, because uh, every try of uh, Nikolai Pirozhnik was successful and nothing Valery Emelianenko could do in this situation. Just hold the opponent and the opponent tries to use the knee several times, as you can see. From this position we can see that Nikolai Pirozhnik tries to choke the opponent out, but it's just the second round and and you have to remember that there is the third one it's possible to have it to see it today and if nikolai pirozhnik will run a lot of gas he will he will he wouldn't be able to continue in the third round as you can see the fighters are in a stand-up position right now Nikolai Pirozhnik uses the same way he has done it a lot of times today and tries to mold the opponent on the ground. Right position from Valery Emelianenko, but this is side control already done it by Nikolai Pirozhnik. Nikolai Pirozhnik is already in the good position to try use his skills to finish the fight and i think he has the possibility to do it today it seems to me he is more powerful and more skilled valery emelianenko He's not ready to fight in the on the ground, but he is he defends himself very well. But it's a matter of time how much he can take it. Nicely done by Nikolai Pirozhnik, and the round is over. Again, all the advantage goes to Nikolai Pirozhnik, who has won the second round. He has won it confidently and just one advice we can give to Valery Emelianenko is to try to stand up 
and find a stand-up position, try to defend from the takedowns attempts, try to avoid takedowns and use the distance because he is taller than his opponent. He has better reach, reach advantage, maybe speed, but in two rounds we haven't seen it. The third round starts now and nicely done backfist by Valery Yemelyaninka. They are in the center again and Valery Yemelyaninka uses one, two, tries to get to the body. Nicely done by Valery, but he has to continue because he lost two rounds in a row. Another takedown attempt from Nikolai Pirozhnik. He understands that he is better on the ground. And Valery Pirozhnik continues his domination on the ground. But it seems to me that Valery Emelianka was ready for it and right now tries to avoid this situation, start, tries to hold his opponent as much as possible in order to give the referee the chance to stand them up. Yes, and that's how Nikolai Pirozhnik has to do to continue his domination. Wow, what we have seen right now so far that was Valery Emelianenko, who almost was in the mount position. That wasn't bad, I can say. Nikolai Pirozhnik tries to get to the side control, and he has done it. Everything, Valery Emelianenko loses everything here in this position. He has to stand up. And I think he understands that. Two and a half minute we have till the end of the fight. And as you can see, Nikolai Pirozhnik almost rolled his opponent. But there is a lack of power. Tremendous work by Valery Milianenko in the third round, but it's not enough for Nikolai Pirozhnik, who is winning this fight. He continues controlling his opponent. He controls his hand in a Khabib way. He uses his left hand. Valery Emelianenko has something to give back, but no one thinks that's enough to win the fight or probably win a round, even a round, because the round continues on the ground and uh, Nikolai Pirozhnik is on top on the mount position. Nothing can do Valery Emelianenko. But in the first and the second round, he actually escaped this position through the leg. Valery Emelianenko controlling, is not controlling the situation, but he's holding his opponent. That's just one thing he can do. Maybe he should try to roll and give the back. Ah. 
No, it's not possible to escape like this already because Nikolai Pirozhnik have seen it twice today in the first and the second round. 25 seconds to go and the fight is over. But I think, I think that the crowd understands who is the winner of this fight. And the viewers too. Seven seconds to go, another takedown by Nikolai Pirozhnik, and the fight is over. This fight is over, and it went Nikolai Pirozhnik's way because he has done a lot of takedowns. He controlled his opponent, he dominated him in every minute of this fight. Valery Emelianenko has done a, lo a lot of work in the third round to try to avoid takedowns and try to stand up, fight in a stand-up position, and he has done it. But that wasn't enough to win even when round. We expect the decision from judges, but we know the result will be the same. Nikolai Pirozhnik won the fight. Единогласным решением судей боец Арахион ММА Могилев Николай Пирожник.